Hello there guys, Philippe here. So today I got a quick video for you, as usual, I always have quick videos out. Um, I wanted to let you guys know that I'm back and I'm back to making videos full time and uh, I wanted to show you some of the stuff that I will be putting as a tutorial hopefully in the next couple of days. Um, I just need to tweak it, make a couple of changes to it and uh, just write the tutorial out for you guys as it's complete. Um, and this was a request made to me a while back, uh, I don't remember exactly by who because I deleted my inbox recently on YouTube. but. Um, it was made by one of you guys so basically what I did here is a trigger bot and uh, if you don't know what a trigger bot is um, also I've got a new mic by the way in case you can't tell I'm sure you can the fuck is that? I've got some background noise on the go but anyways if you guys can hear some background sound it's because it's my PC I've got to get some um, quieter fans and this mic picks up anything it's crazy um, anyways so I've got this um, it's called a trigger bot and uh, some people know it there's other names for it but I can't remember any right now and um, the way it works is there's this thing in the middle of your screen and whenever your crosshair, or it's supposed to work like that anyway whenever your crosshair hovers over uh, an enemy, for example it detects the cams, so if they got a red cam for example um, cam stands for chameleon for those that you uh, don't know that and those are things used for hacks to uh, make enemies and players of your team full solid color, for example red or green and it detects the color they've got for example red and it just shoots immediately so you don't have to left click and so on so it can if it's a good cam a good trigger bot it can make things a hell of a lot easier for you and if for example you're using a sniper it knows exactly when to shoot and uh, it really saves you time and uh, you really s start missing a lot less shots and as usual guys um, especially I'm sure you guys, my subscribers, understand this quite well. But to those of you who don't know that, I hack games for fun. I don't hack them, you know, to go online against other people. So um, feel free to leave the hate comments below, though. That's also fine, uh, as I enjoy reading them. But um, my subscribers know why I do this. I do this um, because, well, I know most of you guys enjoy learning these things, and I enjoy taking you guys through them and learning them myself. So um, I'm going to go here quickly. I'm going to show you a couple of things. I'm going to take you through. Um, why I did this, well it's more of because I got requested, but I want to take you through why it works, it's weaknesses, because there's some weaknesses to it, and you know, where it works best, so I'm just going to start a new game. Um, for those of you that don't know, this is my uh, directory d uh, hack that I did a while back, so don't worry about this, this is just to turn my cams on, so to use this, um, I've got some background noise, it's so annoying, I don't know what it is. I think it's my fan being weird, I hope it's not really loud on the mic. Anyways, so um, I've got this DirectX menu I did a while back which is, um, you know, it's pretty cool I think. Anyways, if you can check on my uh, how to make a DirectX menu on, uh, uh, it's one of my videos, you should be able to see it quite well there. So uh, either way, I'm sure most of you guys have seen this already. So um, the way it works here, um, this is just the thing, it's got a bunch of features on it. Um, I've been messing around with some of them, some of them so don't worry about those. Um, so you can just choose, all I'm going to use for this one is wall hacking cams. So the things that this hack requires is uh, wall hacking cams and, well that's it, and the hack itself, which is just uh, a separate thing on C++. And this technically works in any game, so as long as you've got wall ha um, cam, not wall hack, just normal cams for any game, this will work without a doubt. Now, I did this in uh, a couple of days, so I did this in the last three or four days, and um, my intention was to initially make a color detecting aimbot because that's the way this one works. It's a color detecting trigger bot, which isn't the best kind, but it's, it's I think it's fairly good for what I did with it. Um, it's it works all right, but it fails sometimes. But I'll tell you about that as we get to it. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a new game on uh, Kill House, and I I'll show you the way it works. Um, what else is there? So um, I'm using bots here to practice with, but it's the exact same thing online, I'd just rather do it with bots, it's better to practice that way. So I've got a bunch of uh, classes here, I'll show you them as I go through them. Um, dun, dun, dun. Okay, so, um, actually I pro should probably address any requests I've had recently, yeah, I'll tell you guys about those in a minute, it's fine. So I'm just going to write a command here to spawn some allies, but then, actually I'll just spawn a bunch of bots. And then change team. At the moment, they're only working against the red people, but I'll just add some sort of option to work with green. That's nothing. It's just because it's really just mostly testing right now. It's nothing special. So SVR 
PZ bots, and then uh, let's spawn, let's say, six bots, three on each side. Uh, and then what I'll do at the end, I'll show you a couple of clips of me actually properly playing this. Um, we did a thing. So what I'm going to tell you right now is, um, before I spawn these guys, um, is that I'm not going to be using left click to shoot. So if you see any funny business, it's all done by the trigger bot, and I'll explain the disadvantages. As, fuck, shit, I hit my computer there, sorry. Uh, I'll explain the advantages and disadvantages whilst I go through them. So I'm just going to spawn it quickly. I'm probably carrying this video out to be a bit too long, to be honest. So how many did I spawn? So the red guys um, are who I'm up against. So I'm going to change team to the Spetsnaz and put the G3 on. Um, now, obviously, depending on um, how sensitive you make this, some maps will be more sensitive because some maps are more lighter than others. So certain things will trigger it. So that's one of the weaknesses. So as you can see, like I've, I haven't actually played on this map before, but as you can see, it's picking up red, but uh, this time I didn't pick it up. I think it's when it does things like this. There you go. See, red like this, it'll pick up. So I'm going to go up to the enemies and test this out. Um, how many have we got? Just four. Uh, da -da -da -da. Let's just add another one. You know, give them another bot. That's not enough. Give them one. Oh, just two more. One for each team, I guess, or two for their team. I don't care. All right, so I'm just going to go up to these guys and... Um, da -da -da -da. So as you can see, I'm by no means clicking, doing left click, so please don't think that I'm using that, because I'm not. So as you can see here, it picks up the colors. Oops, I see this guy doing And it works much better with certain weapons than others. Like, for example, Desert Eagle is one of the really good ones. But I need to actually aim near them, at least in their line of sight, to for, for it to hit. These guys are actually fairly good for bots. I don't know who designed this, but these guys are fairly good. Um, I'm going to put the sniper for a second. I've got an order of doing things here, I'm just being an idiot. Getting off that order. Yeah, I had to choose a map with a lot of red, that was genius for me. Um, I think in the in the grand scheme of things, you really want to be doing something like um, doing some sort of sensitivity. This guy, I don't know what he's doing. Is he outside the map or something? Oh no, he's alright. Um, but yeah, I think the way it was done, see. Take out this guy quickly. Oh, get lost. Come on, you see that? That's BS. So, um, as you can see here, the G3 works quite well with it, especially uh, semi automatic weapons. It really does well with them. Let's get down. Now, you gotta love, I'll show you, like, myself dying in a second. These guys, look at that beauty. So, what it's doing is, I'll explain to you the way it works quickly. It's picking up the pixels on the screen. Oh, hello there, guys. What are you doing there by yourself? So it picks up the pixels on your screen, and um, it just checks if they're red, whatever color I made it check against, uh, blue, whatever the hell you want it to check, really. Um, I guess, depending on, you you check what which team you're on, and um, you'd make it shoot to whatever, you, so if you're on green, you want to shoot against red. If you're on red, you want to do against green. So obviously, you do some sort of setting for that, and you check which player which team you're part of, and that can be done easily. I mean, my intention here is really just get something working. And obviously, uh, this usually, like, um, for example, dark maps won't pick it up as well. I'm um, using a pistol here. You know what pistols are like. Actually, it shouldn't be too bad long range. So as you can see, I picked up the G36, just doing some work on these guys. Oh, I'm dead. Come on, shoot gun. So yeah, I haven't used left click a single time here, guys. So I've, I use le uh, right click sometimes just to um, to help me out. So um, when I do the tutorial, I'll explain to you the whole system, which I think is quite clever. I've got some ideas online, reading other people's work and stuff, and I think the system is quite clever. And and the way I've done it, obviously, there are many ways of doing this kind of trigger bot. That I've done it in pretty much the easiest way. And later on, I'll be doing, you know, obviously not soon, soon, but See, look at this side. This side ain't picking it up. So, that what that tells you is that, um, well, what I'm going to tell you is that this works best with uh, certain sites such as um, iron sites. You don't really want to use red dot sites and things like that. I'm going to change weapon. I'll be on this too long. So, I want to show you the shotgun. Hopefully, I can get close to these guys. And shotguns, it works really well in. Look at this. This beautiful shotguns. Oh, get lost, man. Yep, yeah, it seems to work pretty well with shotguns. I mean, <laughs> if I can get close to them enough to do it, screw you. See, look at that. Not a single click. 
try and get close. But these guys always shoot through walls, so I haven't got much of a chance. Haha. <laughs> Go home. Yeah. So shotguns is pretty good. Oh, pretty good. It doesn't look very good. Oh, knifed. Yeah. So shotguns, it behaves pretty well. Yeah. The One of the obviously setbacks is that um, obviously it'll shoot sometimes when it when it shouldn't. What's this guy doing here by himself? Yeah, we'll shoot sometimes when it shouldn't. But I think this will be something really cool to code. And what I'll do is I'll use a similar system to this. So um, this will be, think of this as um, an intro to, see, look at the, another little problem there is when you hover over corpses, obviously. But you can do that on your cams. You can make, code them so that, oh, come on. You can code them so that they only show people that are alive. I mean, that's doable. And, um, yeah, so, oh, I forgot what I was saying now, dumbass. Uh, let me think, let me think, let me think. Yeah, uh, we're going to use this as an introduction to an aimbot. So, um, the aimbot will use different uh, methods because uh, the way we've done things here, it is a little bit slow how it uh, picks up the pixels and stuff. But I'll explain all that throughout the tutorial, so don't worry about that. Which hopefully I should have in a couple of days out. It's not something very complex to do this. So, and also I did something fairly simple because, you know, I haven't done any hacking in a couple of, I don't know, in a couple of, uh, months I think any actual hacking I've still been writing C++ for university and all that but um, I haven't done any actual hacking recently I'm going to try something else on quickly I really don't want to drag this video too long because I know you guys you know you got your own thing going but um, so I'm going to shoot with the sniper and the snipers aren't great really so you see that that wasn't bad there um, depends on the maps really the sniper the way it works um, Things like Barrett 50 cal spam a lot of rounds at once, which isn't, you know, obviously not what you want. Unless you're close range. Obviously those snipers, close range, they're great. Um, screw you, man. I'll pick this up. Get lost. Oh, come on, leave me alone. Um, What else have I shown? MP5, I mean, that's just normal stuff. M16 works well. I mean, I'm just showing you these weapons because I think, because uh, I want to show you like a little bit of everything. It's not just because these are the only ones that work alright, because most of them work. Look at that. Uh, obviously you have to do the aiming work, which is, you know, troublesome. So why don't you do the shooting as well? Look look at that, that's brilliant, look at that. Took out a bunch of people. Not shooting by the way guys, please don't think I'm shooting because I'm not cl left clicking. Um, and obviously, uh, for those of you... Oh, G3, thank you very much. Oh, come on, let me get it, let me get it. Yeah, avoid iron sights and so on for this. Uh, get lost. You too. Um, yeah, avoid iron sights because it's not great. What do you think you're doing? I'm dead, I'm dead. No. Oh, no, I'm dead. Oh, oh, that shotgun's pretty good with it, actually. The automatic shotgun. Is it automatic? You call it? I don't know. But, alright, so I'll... I think enough of this. I'm just going to go over a couple of things. So, no, 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 no. I'm sure 16. Uh, I'm 16. Sorry, I'm going to move one mic quickly. I hope that doesn't screw things up for you. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be doing the, obviously the trigger bot tutorial in the next couple of days. That should be really fun, and it's pretty much going to be a build up. Uh, so we do the simple thing, and then we'll make it complex so it picks up more of the crosshair. So you see your crosshair here. This um, it will you know cover a little wider radius just so it's you know enough to pick up as much as possible. Look at this. They're, they're miles away, and they can shoot me somehow. Bloody bots! Look, see how they like it. Did I get any shot through walls? Do you? Um, okay, so. Uh, did you have trigger bot next? Uh, the name bot. Yeah, so obviously there's going to be a name bot tutorial afterwards. Uh, I'm still working on that one myself. Once I've completed it, I'll put a video like this one out just to show you how it works. And that's going to be a bit more complex. But I th I'm pretty sure the trigger bot will give you all you need so you can get on with the thingy. So obviously, try and get a copy of. Uh, I don't know what this guy thinks he's doing. Try and get a copy of. Um, look, look at the fire rate of that pistol. It's insane. Look at these guys. What do they think they're doing? Oh, no, no, I'm dead, I'm dead. And I hope you guys don't think these bots are crap, because they're, they're, they're actually really good. I don't know who did this. It's called PZ Bots. And if you follow my DirectX uh, How to Create Cams tutorial, you'd, you should know about them. Anyways, um, no, 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 no. I should be doing the tutorial on pointers soon. Um, I don't know what you guys think about that, because I think, you know, there are some on the internet, online, on C++, but I think because my videos are mostly about hacking and there's always pointers involved, there's no way out of that one. I think I'll do a video on that and I'm, I don't consider myself an expert on it, but I think I'm pretty comfortable using pointers now. Um, requirements. 
Uh, I've done that. Uh, no, no, I've done that. Uh, I've told you about the strengths and weaknesses of this trigger bot, which there are some. I might have missed some out. Uh, or, but overall, I think this this is quite a good thing. Um, yeah, make sure you guys get COD 4 for the tutorial. There should be a trial version online. If not, there should be torrenting sites. I can't tell you about the links for those because I can get into trouble. But there should be a few around. Um, M16, I wanted to say something else. Oh, yeah, I should be. Um, I'll make a video as well. I'll get a lot of requests, not requests, but a lot of questions about oh, what do I do for uni and all that stuff. And I've done quite a few cool things this semester. So this last one. So if you guys, you know, let me know what you think of it. But I will upload it anyway. And then if you, if I get some good feedback for it, I'll do it next year again. But I uh, just finished my uh, finished my second year, and I've got some cool projects we did. Um, so I, I got some programs and stuff. And just so you guys can get an idea of what I actually do at uni. Uh, so you know, uh, you can you can see what kind of background I've got to do uh, hacking. Um, even though you know, I'll explain to you exactly how much does that help me and how it doesn't really help me. But um, I'll do that in that own video. Get lost, mate. Come on. Get to these guys. Yeah, I was going to do a thing with the highlights, but I think this video is actually not too bad, so I don't think I'll do that. But but you guys can get an idea. I won't put a link for it yet because it's not great at the moment. Um, it's mostly debugging and things like that, and I've got to like clean it up and give some options to choose color and stuff. But it, we'll do that for this tutorial. Um, yeah, so I'll do the video just to show you guys uh, what work I've been doing recently, and uh, I've got like one of them's a C++ program, which I think is quite good. Um, and um, yeah, I mean, I think that's it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and um, I wanted to come back with a nice thing for you guys to get into. And I've got a lot more subscribers than I had when I left, which is insane and it's great. So thanks for that, guys. Um, so yeah. Um, Give me a like if you don't mind, guys. Um, you know, obviously, if you enjoy the video. Yeah, so that's it, guys. Uh, expect the tutorial in the next couple of days. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys later.